Oh, I'm just here to talk. To be honest, Guanos put us in kind of a tight spot. How so? Well, he's got Kawai's body, Reiko Kusumoto's victim. <laughs> Hidden in a freezer, of all places. Been on ice for what? Five years? You know about this, Yagami? Yeah. Problem is, he's planning to reveal its location on the internet. If that happens, Kusumoto-san will be ruined. No doubt, her fingerprints and other traces are all over the damn corpse. Yeah, but that's for the better. I mean, she won't have to listen to you. Reiko Kusumoto is a capable woman who can swim with the tides. She's irreplaceable. It would be unfortunate to lose her over some low life she had to put down. She's on our side now, and she's accepted it. So it's your duty to protect people like that? I protect order, not people. Consider me a necessary evil. Necessary evil? That's right. If I hadn't gone undercover, the Tojo clan's ex-Yakuza would be spread all over by now. If that happened, we never would have been able to track their current activity. That's why I created the RK Network. To keep Kamurocho's underground under control. Much safer and less messy than wiping them out indiscriminately. But in the shadow of order, there's always a pair of dirty hands. Right. Kiwana said something like that too. <laughs> but if there's one difference between the two of us, it's that I find my work enjoyable. It gives me purpose. When I dirty my hands, it's in the service of order. It goes back to a necessary evil to maintain peace in this country. In my eyes, peace does require violence. It only works when killers are below the surface, keeping it afloat. Sawa Sensei too? Is that the piece you want? <laughs> Yoko Sawa? She did have to die. She almost connected the Mikoshiba case to Kuwana. She was getting very close to it. She may even have figured out Reiko Kusamoto was involved. The fewer people who know a secret, the better kept the secret stays. I don't remember even hesitating on that call. And I think that means... Well, you guys won't like hearing this, but it was justified. You asshole! Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't fly off the handle now. I haven't finished what I had to say. What the fuck? Did I mention how much of a pain in the ass Kuwana made this? He negotiated for your lives, using Kuwai's body as leverage over us. What? So relax, would you? I don't plan on killing you here. Then why even show your sorry face? The trial for Ehara-san is coming up, right? You know, the groping thing. I've come here with a request that I hope you'll consider. This from you? Reiko Kusumoto's name is not to come up during the Ehara trial. That shouldn't be so hard, right? Shirosaki-sensei would have to agree to this, too. And if we were to refuse? Nothing. It's Kusumoto-san's request. She is asking nice. What? A mother doesn't want her child branded a murderer's son. Could you give her that much? <laughs> and that's all. I'm sure we'll talk soon. You think so, huh? Why put off what we can settle now? Soma! <laughs> Akane! Sure beats the alternative, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'd say he got us good with that one. Yeah. But that was a terrible call. If Soma hadn't been packing a paint gun, that would have been really bad. 
You two are more important than him. I should have prioritized protecting you. Yagami-san. You've been brave. I'm sure this was really scary for you. We'll need to do things one step at a time, Kaito-san. <laughs>